Okay, so first thing we're going to do is enable editing. Uh, if you get this, it says the office, there's updates for it. You can click on update now, or you can just hit the little arrow off to the side. Oh, wait, step number two, I'm sorry. Select the tables sheet. Here we go, table sheet. Select the cells A6 to B10. And create range names using the create from button. So formulas tab, names, and create from selection. OK. And the left columns, we click OK. OK, step number three. Select cells B1 to F2 and click the name box. Moving the selection H rates. Note that the first row is arranged in ascending order. Okay, step number four is create an HLOOKUP function to display the bonus rate. Click on the commission sheet and select cell F5. Start the HLOOKUP function and use cells E5 as the lookup value. So I'm going to click here. Let's look for H lookup. Well, there we go. So that's what we want. So the lookup E5 is the lookup value. The table array argument used the H rates, H rates. Use the second row for the row index num argument. And click on OK. All right. Format the results as a percent style with two decimal places. So let's right click, format cells. We will use the percent style with two decimal places. Okay, copy the formula in cell F5 to F6, uh, to the range F6, F14. OK. Set order of operations to calculate the total. OK, step number seven. Set order of operations to calculate total earnings. Select cell G5. Build a formula to to add the commission's amount E5 to the commission's amount times the rate. So we say equals, that's how we build a formula. So we have F5 times E5, and that'll give us this amount. Copy the formula in cell G5 down so we can just come here and double click okay step number eight create and copy a sum if function to calculate total earnings by branch office select cell e18 
start the sum if function with cells d5 to d14 as the range argument. So we'll come up here, click on sum if, OK. Uh, so the range will be dollar sign D, dollar sign 5. That means that's an absolute range or absolute cell, an absolute value. So there's a range. Set the criteria argument as a relative reference to C18. Select cells G5 to G, G14 for the sum range and make the references absolute. That's the way to do that. The absolute reference, you use the dollar sign before the letter and before the number like I did here. So click OK. And now we copy the formula down to B20. Yeah. OK. Format cells E18 to E21 as currency. So we'll select these rows and then go up here to home. Change this to currency. Total the earnings in E21. So how we do that then is we set this equal to E18, which is the first row there, plus E19 plus E20. And that gives us our total. Okay, step number 10, create and format the current date. Select cell G23 right here and insert the now function. So one way you could say do that is just go equal NOW like that and that gives us and now uh, uh, select cell G23 and select the number group launcher. So home tab on the group number tab, select the date category. Like so. Or we could do it, I believe, like this, and then date, and then scroll to the type. So it spells out the month, the date, the comma, and the year. So it would be, let's see, Place the month spelled out, the day, comma, the four date year. So let's go down. So it would want to be like this, this type of format actually. OK. Click OK. We already did that. Control Home takes us back up to the top. OK, step 11. Create and copy a VLOOKUP function to display goals for each funding source. Click the Family Day Sheet tab, and select cell F6, so here, start the VLOOKUP function and use cell E6 as the lookup value. Click here, scroll down, oops, type in the lookup. Click on go, there it is. Click here, the lookup value would be E6. The table, click the table sheet for the table array argument and use cells. So we click here and we use cells. A6 
P10. Okay. Oops. Okay, let's start that over again. Okay. 6B10. Look up, okay. Six table array. We will use like so, and oops, we will come in here and change these to absolute references for the lookup column use the second column as the column index number the range lookup should be empty Let's click OK copy this down to from F7 to F20 like so format the cells as currency or it's already currency no decimal places there's no decimal places there okay step 12 create and copy an if function select cell H6 and start an if function. So let's go up here. If k logical argument if g6 g6 be greater than or equal to f6. The value is true. We say yes. If the value is false, we say no. Click OK. And now copy the formula down. Let's just double check this a little bit. We want to check to see if G6 is greater than this. So as you can see, we can go through here and double check some of these and see that that is correct, where it says yes. This value is greater than this value. And so it looks like did it correctly. We want to center align cells H6 to G20, I mean H20, so we click this and then hit control home. Okay. Step number 13, insert a new sheet at the end of the tab names. Okay, so we go here. And name the worksheet range names. So let's rename, call this range names. Okay, we want to paste the range name starting in cell A1. Okay, we want to press F3. And we want to paste list. Okay, there we go. And then we save it. And that's it.